What's going on traders? Corey Smith here, CoreFX. Um, I want to bring you guys a new video here. I'm doing a new challenge um, with my trading. I've been diversifying my trading a bit, moving into other markets, and I wanted to live broadcast my experiences taking trading over to um, a new market. I'm going to be diving into the futures oil markets. Been messing around with them a little bit lately. Um, messed with a lot of different markets, but oil has been the one of choice lately. Um, and I really want to dive into a challenge and broadcast with you guys as I go through it. So I'm going to do a simulated challenge through a company, Top Step Trading. Um, going to be going through a combine where you have to prove yourself to get approved to trade a funded account. But essentially I'm doing it for the combine challenge aspect of it. There's all kinds of rules you have to follow. There's drawdowns, there's daily drawdown limits, overall account drawdown limits, there's a take profit um, target you've got to hit. So I wanted to take on this challenge, let you guys watch a Forex trader go into a totally different market, taking the techniques and strategies I have, employing them in a different market and showing you guys live how well or poorly it performs. Um, but I'm an open book. I've got nothing to hide. I'm going to show you guys my trading account, my trades, my statements, um, everything in here to show you guys how I perform with it. So, um, yeah, essentially I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be showing you as I do it. If anyone has any questions or anything, always reach out to me, but I want to take, I have a set plan already written down. I've got my own rules aside from the rules of this combine and I want to dive into a new market and I'll show you guys live as I do it. So this is going to be a trading challenge, testing my abilities, trading in a new market, and we're going to see how I do. We're going to see how Forex trading translates over. I think my ability as a trader is going to um, help me out. I don't think it's going to be that big of a learning curve, but you guys are going to watch it firsthand. So I'm going to document every week all my trades for the week, how I did. I'll show you guys my account. I'll show you guys what my numbers are at. Um, I'll show you guys how many trades I took, winning, losing, sizes, everything. So you guys will be able to see everything that I do. Um, just stay tuned to these videos, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, throw a like button down there, throw a comment if you have any feedback to share, and um, enjoy the journey, guys. I'm, I'm doing this journey with you, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I really hope you guys get to see a little insight as to what traders do on a daily basis. I'll be showing you the exact setups I take, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the account now. I'll show you guys the back office of what I'll be trading and what the account looks like, and we'll go over it from there. All right, guys, so now we're inside the account here. As you can see, we've got a balance of $50,000. Over here are some rules you gotta follow. Um, you have to trade a minimum of five consecutive days, or not consecutive, sorry, just a minimum of five trading days. So you have to place a trade at least one time, five days. You have to hit a $3,000 profit target, so you have to grow this account to $53,000. You cannot lose more than $1,000 in a day. You can't have more than five contracts traded at any one time and you can't allow your balance to go below $48,000. All right, you also can't trade outside of the allowed time periods, which is the trading times for the futures markets. So there are some rules here. Um, you know, they're pretty strict, $1,000 daily loss limit on a $50,000 account, that's pretty good. Um, can't go below $48,000, so that's a $2,000 drawdown that you can't lose, not too bad. I have to get it up to $3,000. Not too bad. So um, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to keep you guys posted. When I have some trades to share, I'll upload some more videos. I'll show you guys how it's going. And we'll go ahead and see um, how, this, how this goes. Again, I'll be trading crude oil futures market. Um, new to futures. I've been messing around with this thing a little bit um, prior to this, just so I can get a little bit of a feel for it. But I'm still very fresh with this stuff. A lot of this stuff I am brand new with. Charts. I know all day, risk management, I know all day, following a plan, I know all day. I have a plan on paper. You cannot expect to even come close to doing something like this without A, having a plan. I have a plan on paper, it's written down, I have an exact set of rules, I have my own daily drawdowns aside from this $1,000 loss limit, I've got my own take profit limits for the day, when I hit a profit, I walk away, I've got my own maximum lots at a time, I've got my own set of rules. This is their set of rules, that's great, it protects them, it shows traders how to have rules. I have my own set of rules, which I don't think if I have a $2,000 drawdown max, I don't think I should lose $1,000 in a day. I think that's reckless. So if I have two days in a row losing, 
and I can lose $1,000 a day, guess what? The whole thing's over. So I've got my own set of rules. I've got my own set of rules as far as a setup goes, what I'll be looking for, what I'll be looking to trade. Um, and we're going to see how it performs. Over a certain amount of time, I might have to reset this account multiple times. We'll see. My strategy, I have no idea how it's going to work. I haven't back tested it. I'm only forward testing it. I'm testing it live with these demo accounts. So we'll have to see. We're giving it a shot. I'm showing you guys live. I got nothing to hide. I'm going to show you guys how it goes. If it doesn't go well, I'll stick at it until it does. That's how this works. Fall down, get back up. So futures market, core effects, taking them on. We'll see how it goes. Stay with me for the journey, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys are inspired by this or it helps maybe with your trading, following these rules and stuff. Maybe you can uh, you know, build them into your own trading plan. But I appreciate it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I'll be back to you as soon as we have some more videos to share with trade setups. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys. So our first trade setup here on the simulator test account got short here on the break of this support. We, um, I wanted to get filled at around 34, 35. Had some <laughs> difficulties getting my trade to go. So a little early on getting some, you know, learning stuff out with the new platform and all. But we're catching this short here. I got a 15 tick stop up here at 57.45. I'm looking for a 30 pip drop. So riding it down to about here, 57.05. I'll see how price does around this area in here um, with if we're going to get out early. But 57.05 is the target down here. That's what we're looking to get for a move. All right, now I've got this take profit level identified down here. Got our entry triggered here. Our stop loss up here. Now we're going to let it ride, see where price takes us, see where this trade goes, and I'll check back in. All right, guys, so just trade closed my first trade here. Um, hit a stop loss. As you guys can see here, minus 150, trade number one, lost 15 ticks. No problem. That's part of the game. Um, managing my risk. Set my first trade here at around 57.30. I got in a little later than I wanted to as I went over. A little bit of technical difficulty learning this platform. Price moved 10 ticks in our favor. Down here is at 57.20. This uh, average settlement price today. Yesterday, price bounced off of, rallied up, came up, knocked us out. Our target was down here at 57.05. We got knocked out for our first stop loss. I'll be looking for re-entries today. I'll update you guys if I have any. But as you can see, first trade was a loss. Not a big deal, just 150. We have our daily limit for this um, simulator. For the rules here, they've got uh, as a $1,000 daily limit. So I'm not going anywhere near that. I've got one more opportunity today, and then my daily limit is hit for the day. My personal limits, so I'll keep you guys updated on the next trade I'll be looking for. We started off, again, first trade. Hit our stop loss, minus 150. We'll be looking for another entry here. Um, but wanted to keep you guys updated. That's the first trade that was triggered. We got in here short, reversed on us, took us out of our stop. So a uh, little bit of back and forth price action so far today. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll be looking to enter back around WTI open in the US and I'll keep you guys posted on the next trade. All right, guys. So we got another short opportunity coming here. Uh, we had a break and close below this nice level. I've got a limit order for a sell up here at 57.20. If price comes back to set me in, I'll go short with it. If not, it's gonna run away without me and I'm gonna miss this trade, but that's all right, it happens. Um, my plan is in place, following the rules, waiting to see if we get a trade here. Um, after this, this is where I'll have my sell stop. I got my stop loss up here, 15 ticks above it. We'll see if price comes back to stop me in. If it does, we'll try to catch this next wave lower. If it runs away without me, oh well, I'll shut it down and come back next week. Look for some opportunities on Monday next week. All right, guys, I'll keep you posted if this trade gets triggered. Guys, so um, my short didn't trigger, took off without me. Pulling back now, I'm not gonna just get in on the trigger here. I'm gonna wait for price to come up and show me that it's rejecting this zone. So um, I will be back if I see a trade. I'll keep you guys updated. My move is still going to be looking for shorts in this area to ride lower. All right, so oil's been getting tanked this morning. Missed this drop. Tried to get in it here. It pulled back, stopped us out. Now it dropped again. So missed this opportunity. Was watching it, saw it happen. Just 
didn't ma meet my plan, which is fine. Again, this is a new strategy. This is a new market. Uh, we're going to see how it plays out. We're going to see how things react. We're just going to use proper risk management, proper um, plan execution, and follow the plan and see where it takes us. All right, guys. So I'll keep you guys posted if I get into another trade today. That is what I'm looking for. Price to come up to this area, show rejection, and continue lower. All right, guys. So I know we left off. I was looking for another trade setup. Um, we got in short here. Price pulled back. Stop this out. 15 tick loss, $150, no big deal, part of the game. Broke out here, I didn't catch the initial breakout, it took off a little bit too fast for us to catch. I was waiting for a retest, didn't get that initially, but my plan triggered up here when we failed to break back above 57.50. Prior resistance, I got in short here, wrote it down to my target here, got a quick um, three to one risk to reward ratio, Went, wrote it down from 57.46 to 57.06, 40 ticks. So I lost 15, gained 40. As you guys know, um, that's a nice risk to reward ratio. I ended the day up $250. So my net on the account starting at 50,000, got it down 150 bucks. Now we're back up in the, the positive territory, ending the first day in the first week at $50,000 and uh, 243. $50,243. Um, so good start so far. We had a small loss, got in again, took a nice win. Obviously, I missed out on a massive move. This would have been, if this was a $400 trade, this would have been a $1,600 trade, right? Would have been another 400 down here, another 400 down here, another 400 down here. So realistically, this gave opportunities for people to short it and get in along the trade on its way down. Um, but I'm perfectly happy with my outcome. Yes, this sucks that I missed all this, but I didn't lose. I'm in green. You never go broke taking profits, right? So we took profits. We got a nice risk to reward. We got our um, trades looking good. And we're all living on to, to trade another day. That's really all we can ask for here. Um, that's what we got again. So on to another day, on another trading session, and on another week. Now, taking it into the account, you guys can see where we're at. Um, $396 was our winning trade. $153 was our losing trade. Um, so as you guys can see, ended with a pretty good day. Um, ended up $242 net on the day. So sitting good so far. First day, first week, not a big deal. Risk to reward is what this is all about. And you know when our average winning trade is over double the size of our average losing trade. That's good. We have a 50% win ratio right now, and we're up a good amount of money. So that tells us the risk rewards in place. We'll continue to do this, continue to keep the risk reward as it is. Um, you know, obviously this is going to change. Um, the winning percentage is gonna change, the number of trades is gonna change, average winning and losing trades are gonna change as we go, but I'll be sharing it all live with you guys. You guys will see everything as it's coming out live. So uh, stay tuned. Stay following these. Again, if you don't subscribe to the channel, subscribe so you're notified every week when I come out with these videos. And I hope you guys get to enjoy this journey with me. I'm going to enjoy it, win or lose. I'm going to have a blast while I'm doing it. And I'd love for you guys to follow me. So um, that'll do it, guys. I hope you all have a great weekend. Check out my other video, my market recap video I do every week. Um, weekly technical talk here at CoreFX, so make sure you tune into that too. But I appreciate it, guys. I hope you enjoy these videos. Enjoy my journey. Have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you guys next week.